Hello and welcome to uh, a cup of Joe. It's been a while, and this is uh, this is my second time recording this today. I was just trying to record it, and then I ran into an absurd amount of technical issues. I just took a step back and kind of solved all the problems, so should be good to go now. Anyways, like I said, it's been a while since I've done a cup of Joe, and I've been wanting to do them. I have like a dozen different ideas I've sketched out of things I want to talk about. When I started at the beginning, it was like a way for me to sit down and uh, kind of drink coffee, maybe share a little bit about that, but also other ideas. Um, I don't want to get back to doing that. We'll see if I can if I can get it up to a weekly basis. I think that'd be pretty great. They're a bit easier to make than doing coffee reviews or uh, product reviews uh, or testing or things like that, which require um, experience and research and that sort of thing. This just is gonna, is me sitting down talking about stuff. Anyways, uh, so this is the first time I'm doing this in a while. First time certainly doing it since moving. You'll notice that the space is a bit different. Uh, and first time since changing the name of the magazine as well. Uh, I actually am working on uh, some photos for an upcoming uh, upcoming issue. Just trying to take some contextual sort of concept type shots. Uh, I'm actually gonna be shooting from the other side of the table. I'm just sitting here to do a little intro. Uh, anyways, I thought it would be fun to bring you along, yeah, get you a little behind the scenes, I guess. And then while I'm doing that, I can tell you about some of the other stuff that I'm working on. Um, I don't want this in the shot. The article is coming up in the next issue that I'm shooting pictures for right now uh, is all about uh, coffee extraction, the process of extraction, and why most importantly, why I think as a sort of a casual coffee drinker, uh, home brewer, whatever you want to consider yourself as, um, you may not think of coffee in those terms a lot, but I think understanding the basics of it really helps you in brewing better coffee. So, um, and, and it's a cool concept. Anyways, so I'm taking some cons uh, um, not conceptual, um, contextual photos for it. Uh, since we're talking essentially about the brewing of coffee. Uh, I could just take a picture, pictures of coffee brewing, but I'm trying to do some different things, get up close. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is kind of fiddle with the V60 and try to capture the water, what, the coffee dripping, I guess. I kind of want to play around that. We'll see if I make a mess. Uh, but I'm gonna bring you along. Water's close to boiling. Uh, I need to grind the coffee, so uh, I'm gonna get that set and um, then I'll be right back. You'll see me coming in and out, but I'll edit this all together. Okay, right, first thing I need to do is make sure that my camera's gonna behave the way I want it to. Let's check the lighting is way off. See how that turns out. Oh, that's kind of nice. So I'm using a, I'm using a macro. Uh, Using a macro lens so I can so I can get nice and close, do some fun soft photos. Um, now I'm gonna try some tricky stuff here in that I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to photo and pour at the same time. And actually, what I want to capture is just the water coming out of the spout. So let's see if I can do this here. Ooh. Steamed up the lens a little bit. All right. Jeez, I can't even see the, okay. Just wanted to verify. Should have 25 grams in there. Yeah, okay, close enough. Can't see the, uh, the readout here in the sunlight. Now let's get, Let's get some close-up shots of the ground coffee. That makes for a nice visual. Let's see. I've got some shading going on here. So. I wonder if I can get closer. Nope, I cannot. Hmm, I have an idea. 
So a lot of times I'm taking pictures, I'm just like playing around with framing and what is kind of happening. I'm just looking for interesting shadow and light. Uh, I think to me the most sort of boring coffee photography is when it's a picture of the whole thing. Like the picture of this or even the top-down shot which I've done you know a billion times has its place but it starts to get boring. It doesn't like there's there's some interesting character to the way the the way the chaff is kind of clinging to the wet filter and how the filter looks. Okay, time to start brewing. Do you want to kind of do this as accurately as possible? I think this is going to be good context. Oh no. Steaming up my lens. That's really interesting how the coffee kind of goes up the sidewall. So while the sunlight coming in does create some harsh shadows, it also um, is going to backlight everything in here really nicely. Um, I don't know, I think it's interesting. Uh, I certainly could do a, a, a version of this where I'm uh, a, a version of this where it's much softer lighting that could also produce some interesting, interesting results, I think. And for, what I should have done is brought something here so I could put this on the table, but I didn't, I didn't do that. This might be a, this might be a scenario where, oops, this might be a scenario where um, a zoom lens would be more appropriate. I'm just going to go all the way up to 400. Normally I would do this in at least three different pours, but the goal here is photography, not the best cup of coffee I can make, or not the ritual either. Pardon me. Okay, now I'm gonna try to do this and not make a mess. So, wish me luck, huh? Oof. Okay, okay, I think that's good. All right. Okay, now I gotta try to take some more shots here without Reflections. Wow, that's a really nice, uh, that's a really nice bed of coffee right there. All right, hopefully we're still recording here. Um, let me just <laughs> use a little saucer to put that aside. I suppose I could take pictures of pouring here. I don't know. Uh, it could be nice. Let me do that really quick. I was, I was going to not. I was just going to move on, but uh, let's see. Okay. You're going to have to move now, buddy. Let's move you down there. How about that? Okay. All right. This is really true. Okay, I'm going to have to... Wait, can I pour it from the other direction? Is that going to... Oh yeah, that'll play. That'll play. Okay. I'll tell you why this is tricky in a moment. For now, let me uh, let me try to get this shot. Okay. I don't know if that came out. Eh, it looks a little dark. That's all right. Anyways, I uh, <laughs> so this is an old, uh, at least fifteen year old camera. Um, fully, fully manual, uh, 5D, basically I split off the autofocus into a back button so that when I'm testing, uh, 
uh, exposure with the front half press, I don't change the focus. So I actually focus press on the back. Anyways, those of you who are photographers know what I'm talking about or you just learn something new. So that's, uh, that's taking a bunch of pictures for upcoming issue. Might end up using a couple of those, might use some of them, other ones elsewhere. Um, and we ended up with a pretty good cup of coffee too. Okay, so first cup of joe in a long time. Uh, whew. So I moved. I'm now roommates with uh, Michael Mage. You saw him on uh, one of the previous episodes and uh, he does the design work for the magazine. And we changed the name of the magazine as well. The magazine is now Extracted Magazine, not Coffee Lovers Magazine. I did make a video on that change. I think I'm just going to make it public on the YouTube channel. I have it on the website, extractedmagazine.com. You can check it out there. So one of the fun things we're gonna do is make a, specifically a coffee station. Uh, if, you, if, you ever, if I ever took you on a tour of my last apartment, which I think I did in a couple videos, it was very, very small studio. Uh, the living room in this place is like the size of that apartment. So uh, in this apartment, I have a lot more room to work with and we're gonna be making a coffee station, uh, specifically a place for all of the coffee tools that I have. Because in the last apartment I had, uh, if I put a machine on the counter, um, like usually I'd have the grinder. The grinder didn't take up that much space, so I was fine. Then I started adding, I got the espresso machine and some of the other brewers. Suddenly all of my counter space was gone. Uh, and here even, uh, it takes up a decent amount of counter space that we could be using for other things. Um, both like to cook and use the kitchen. So we want to take the coffee stuff out of the kitchen and make specifically a coffee station. And uh, I think that would also be really fun for you to see. So I've already recorded the intro video to that. Uh, I think I'm going to make it into a whole series. Uh, just waiting on some other details. I need to figure out, uh, find the right piece to, to make that uh, before we get started. Uh, but it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. So you're going to get to see all that. And I think for the Cup of Joe, I'm going to go back to my original format, which is me sitting down drinking coffee and talking about ideas. Uh, there will be, still be all the other videos on the channel as well. Um, sort of brewing or coffee reviews, I guess. I never like to call them reviews. It was more like uh, trying out a coffee and showing you what coffee can be all about. Because usually by the time that I'm able to share a coffee with you, it's, it's, a, it's a coffee from a roaster where they have a limited supply and they're all gone. Um, so... I mean, it, give you an idea, it can give you an idea of that roaster for sure. So it's, it's a, I guess it's a good avenue for you to discover new roasters. Um, doing reviews of products and tools, showing you how, uh, how some of this stuff works out and the best ways to get, get the most out of your equipment, I think that's a fun thing to do. And then get back in the tips and stuff series. At this point, I'm pretty much done. Took all my photos. Uh, I'm going to go move on to some other stuff. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes there process of taking photos for an issue. That's going to be in the next issue coming up, Extracted Magazine. I'll link below to that issue when it's out. Uh, if I get this, this video out before that issue publishes, um, then I'll update it. Otherwise, you'll find a link below, um, a link to the website, Extracted Magazine. Check it out. Uh, and uh, I'll also post the, uh, the video announcement for that change as well. And then probably talk to you more about it in future episodes. But uh, I don't want to make this too long because at this point it's just me drinking coffee and rambling on and I don't have any notes in front of me. <sighs> One last thing before we go, though, this would actually be a really awesome opportunity to hear from you. I assume if you're watching this video, you uh, like watching the videos that I make um, and uh, maybe like just watching or listening to me talk about coffee. I'd really like to hear from you. Uh, what do you enjoy? What do you enjoy in this channel? Um, what do you want to get out of it? Are there particular questions you'd like me to answer? Just comment below in the video. Uh, let me know. Always happy to talk coffee and uh, explore ideas and all that sort of fun thing. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.